When your survey is ready for students to use, go to any content area. So in this case, I'm going to go to the module information section and under assessments, choose survey. This will give you a list of your available surveys that have not been deployed so far. Select one and hit submit. You now have a range of survey options, very similar to the quiz options, and you can edit these as appropriate. So we can, for example, have the survey description and the survey instructions available when, while the students are carrying out the survey. We're going to make the link available so students can start to fill it in and we're going to leave the rest as per the default. But notice you can have certain times from when the survey is available until automatically. And you can add a password if you just want a certain subset of students to do the survey. So we're going to scroll to the very end and just simply hit submit. The survey is now available and if we go into the student preview we can see what a student would see at this point. So you can immediately see that under what's new the survey is available here and if a student goes directly to module information they can start taking the survey. They get the instructions as they would do in a quiz and click begin. The instructions and description are available here as well and they can scroll down and answer the questions. Notice that an essay style question has full editing not just simply text but the student can add, enter and add more things through the editor here. When the student has finished all of the questions and is ready, they can hit save all answers and resume later or save and submit, at which point they'll get a warning if there's any questions that they haven't answered. Clicking OK submits the survey and the results have been submitted. That's it.